Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is B and this is B's Furniture Flips. In this video, I'm going to show you how I have upcycled this chest of drawers, which is made out of Mexican pine. And as you can see, it was very, very, very much damaged and it had lots of stains on them. And also you might see now that the top is warped, so it definitely needed some help. But let's see how I have upcycled it. First of all, let me introduce you my new boss. This cute little cat who has been visiting me ever since I've been in the garage and this is the first time I was able to capture him. So first of all I had to remove the top so I could get started on it. To be able to do that I had to remove all those screws but it wasn't easy to take off because it was also glued in. So in this slide you can see that I was just using this metal spatula and I was trying to get it underneath and just lift it off and try to loosen up the glue really, which actually worked. It's really important that when you are taking apart any sort of furniture, you need to label the parts straight away. After I removed the top, I took it inside to get started on it. I have watched loads and loads and loads of YouTube videos trying to figure out the best way to fix the warped tabletop or in this case a dresser top. So one of the tips that I have seen is what I'm actually doing in this video. So I'm just soaking some old t-shirts in boiling hot water and I'm just lightly wringing the t-shirts out so it's gonna be really soaked in with the water and I'm just placing them on this dresser top and I've also cut some timbers to size and I'm just clamping it down and I was really really hoping that it's going to work. I left the top to absorb all the water for about 6 hours and at the meantime I started on the body. After removing all the hardware and labeling all the drawers, the next step was to get started on the cleaning. As usual, I took my time with it, I made sure that all the dirt and all the grime and all the grease is coming off because if you leave any dirt on then it's gonna be much much more difficult for the primer and the paint to adhere onto the dresser. So when you are upcycling a piece, make sure that you are cleaning it really thoroughly. While I was cleaning the piece, I have noticed that the screws that are holding the drawer fronts in place are fairly loose, so I wanted to make sure that this drawers is in a great condition and all the screws are tight, so that's what I did. I went on to tighten all the screws and once I took the drawers out, I also tightened all the inner screws as well. And now let's get back to the top of the dresser. So I was very very lucky because it came out really really well. It's not perfect but it's much more straighter than it was. So what I did is I left the cloths on or the t-shirts on for about 6 hours. Then I removed them and I just clamped them back again. And I let it fully dry with all the clamps and the timber on. And I let it dry for about a day or two just to be sure that it's completely dry and yes it has worked so it was a 
very 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 easy fix and I'm really grateful that it worked. When I have put back the top I also put some wood glue onto the pegs just to make sure that it is going to be very secure and then it was time to just put back all the screws. As I was taking the dresser top off I've also labeled all the screws where they came out from just to be completely sure that everything goes back into the same place as it came out from and that I won't have any sort of issues because of that. So after the top was fixed and all the screws were tightened, the next step was to finally start on the actual work, which was scuff sanding the whole body, then cleaning it down again, and then finally priming and painting. So here you can see I was just lightly scuff sanding with a 120 grit sandpaper and I was just doing the body because I had other plans with the top. As usual, I'm using my favorite shellac base primer which is the Bin Zinser Primer or Zinser Bin Primer. I can never remember the order, but it is the best, best, best primer that you can buy. It is, as I have mentioned in my previous videos, it's a very, very strong one. It dries extremely fast and you would probably need to use a cheap paint brush just because you will not be able to remove the primer from the paint brush and it's just gonna make it all stick together all the bristles so you won't be able to use it again but again as i said it's completely worth it because it is protecting the piece from bleeding through and it helps the paint to adhere much better to the furniture so overall you will have a, a longer lasting furniture you won't need to redo it so often For this piece I am using this angled brush from Wilco which is probably cost about two pounds and this beautiful color paint from Dixie Bell. This is the first time that I am using a Dixie Bell paint. Before I was using Fusion Mineral paint which I believe it is two different brand but correct me if it's not but this is my understanding um, although they are very 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 similar in texture and in coverage and it's really easy to work with as well and they have beautiful colors this piece was actually a commission piece it was made for one of the customers who bought one of my furniture which I was selling which was the grey sideboard which you can see a video of as well if you just scroll down on our videos and she was in love with that and she just moved here from America and she wanted to have some more furniture so this was actually for her son and oh my god they were both so happy with how it turned out but anyways, the color choice was from his son, who loves this color and loves this green theme. And they've had the whole idea, so all I had to do is just to order the paint and make sure that I am doing the best I can to achieve what they would like to have.
and as the last step I had to sand down the top and to do that I've used a, an 80 grit sandpaper and then a 120 and a 180 grit sandpaper but it was as you can see it was really easy to remove all the marks and all the stains although there were some quite deep cuts in it which obviously I wasn't able to remove but it wasn't a problem because they wanted to have a dark stained top so I wasn't too worried about it. And of course in real life everything is much slower than on the YouTube videos so as you can see here is the real time of how I was sanding this top and how fast I was going. I wasn't going any fast, it was quite a slow process but it was done still fairly quickly and I was able to achieve a really 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 nice finish. So once it was all sanded all I had to do was to stain the top and then wax it but of course I forgot to take the video of it so just imagine I've done it. And here is the finished top and here is the finished piece. I was really really happy with the outcome. So was the customer and so was her son. I really couldn't imagine how it would all look but I think it came out really well and their idea was brilliant. We already delivered it and it looks amazing at their home. So if you like this video please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'm hoping to see you again in two weeks time with another video. See you then!